You want to be gentle but firm at the same time. You got it. You got it. You got it. He gonna see you. <laughs> see me play it off like that? Like, yeah. All right, let me get another. <laughs> you finally made it, baby. I feel like if you could drop in from the pyramid, yeah. that's an accomplishment. If I don't get this, I'm spending the night forever. It's my favorite room in the house. Oh, oh, I'm, I don't know, I'm nervous. I think like I don't want to break them. House guests, we out here. I know what it is, man. I'm just pulling up. Is he rolling up on a charger? It's gonna take us 30 minutes for him to get over here, but he's coming up on the tractor. <laughs> this is as fast as it goes. My guy, what's up, baby? Rolling up on a tractor. Had to I come to the stop in Texas. Had to come see my bro, man. I like it, man. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, baby? I'm doing pretty good, bro. Thanks for having me, yes, man. Sir. Appreciate you, know what you for having us. Sorry to pull up like that, man. On your property. No, it's all good. We are out here in Austin, Texas. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, where we at? Um, we are here at Greener Pastures, a chicken operation that we started uh, about a year ago. I went to college uh, at Texas A&M for uh, poetry science. Yeah. People ask me, how did I get into poetry science? I was just about to ask you that. Man, honestly, it started out by taking an easy class. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But I used to fall asleep every day. I used to fall asleep every day. So, so, my, so you wasn't a good student in this class? I was, I was, I was a good student, but my <laughs> professor, he just... He made it hard on me, so he would, wake, he would wake me up and he would make me stand up and talk about, you know, the class in front of everybody. And in, right. in turn, I just really fell in love with it. It just hit me from there. I was like, yep, I'm going to be a chicken farmer. Appreciate you, Dr. Farnell. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go in here, man, and uh, see what's behind these doors right here, man, if you don't mind. We have a special, a special, a special guest, you know, that pulled up on you, man. You know, that's crazy. It's, you know, so it's pretty cool to you know, have him here. So why not surprise you with your, you know, with your We just want you to know, poultry science got your back. You know, so hey, that's, that's pretty guys. cool, thank man. You, but you. you know, it's cool because he was just telling me how he used to fall asleep in class, yeah, and how you made him, you know, and how you made him stand up and learn about, you know, the chickens. I, I wish I had better professors like you, man. I would have been in here with the chickens with y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's a hell of a surprise. Bro. Thank you. Man. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys for that. How did you get into like animals, loving animals? And um, just uh, from day one, I've, I've been hunting and fishing since day one. I, I learned how to shoot before I could write. Um, just being out in the woods with my dad and going hunting and fishing and being around wildlife, it just created a love for you know, livestock and all animals for me. So does chasing around chickens have anything to do? Why you be getting so many sacks? <laughs> I know that. I I know that. No. This is the trick. Chasing the chickens, you're trying to get them. That's yeah. how you be getting moving around and getting all them sacks. The thing up. is, when you are you chasing, when I'm chasing a chicken, it's about being patient. Right. You know, when I'm on the football field, I'm just trying to get from point A to point B, B as fast as possible. Right. You know, but here in the, in the farm, I'm a little bit more gentle. You, you got to you gotta have your knees bent. I think, I'm, you gotta be, I, think you gotta I may be more scared to pick up the chicken than anything. You got to be patient. It's like they're they gonna see you coming. They're gonna see you coming. You just got to be patient. <sighs> oh wow. Oh, it's okay. You're okay. Look, you call for everybody quiet, like trying to wait and see. It's okay. Oh, don't bite me. Don't pluck me. I'm gonna have to get you one. I'm gonna have to get one now. Just be patient. What's up? Nah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh. I'm, I don't know. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't want to. I, I don't want to break them. No, you had them. <laughs> Come here. I gotta get you. Yep. You got it. Yep. Yep. We good. That's good, brother. We okay? You okay? You okay? All right, let me put you down. See that? Yeah. <laughs> Caught me a chicken today, guys. You're okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I'm you're sorry. Good. This is Cameron. Yep. He, he runs this uh, Green and Patches operation. Right. He's, uh, he's the guy that makes it go. The welfare of the chickens is definitely really our top priority. Like if you took this into comparison with like a conventional chicken operation, yeah. these chickens have exponentially more space. This group size is never more than 2,000. Oh, okay, cool. So these birds are three and a half weeks old. And at this point, we typically start moving them out to pasture, assuming the weather conditions are right. 
It's yeah. all natural environment. It's, it's truly pasture raised. So, what is this? What is this device right here? Uh, this is our water watering system. So basically, what happens is the chickens basically just come up to it. And they, they just hit it. it, and they get a little, the little sips. Exactly, and then they, they get the hydration whenever they need it. Right. And we have it running the full length of the house uh, on both sides, so that way there's plenty of access for any bird that wants water at any given time. One thing that's really unique about this type of operation, at, you know, this is regenerative agriculture. So not only do the birds get the benefit of what's out in the pasture, the land actually gets the benefit of the birds being out on pasture. You guys are doing your thing out here, man. This is this is pretty cool, man. You see, they just napping and chilling together. Just yeah, they are good. Family, you know, just chilling. This is this is pretty cool. I feel like a happy bird tastes totally different than, yeah, a, than a bird that's yeah, stressed out. Yeah, than a bird sad. that's stressed out. We gotta get you something so you can taste them. They yeah. taste totally different. I gotta get some chicken. I'll taste some chicken. Give. <laughs> can't wait to be that finger licking. <laughs> that finger licking good chicken. I can't wait. Talk to me about you know how important it was for you to you know to, to build something like this. You know I didn't want like uh, you know a chicken operation where we got you know we flooding birds in here and birds getting sick and got all type of diseases. I want to humanely raise the operation. You know I got with guys uh, Paul Price and Cameron and Dr. Farnell and all these guys that helped me create a, a wonderful chicken operation and we definitely uh, created a, a amazing um, humanely raised pasture raised product here. And, non-GMO, and I'm, I'm super proud of it. Nice, this is beautiful, man, this is awesome. So how'd you get into football? My very first memory of a football game, I just remember my dad like screaming, right? He was screaming, I'm like, man, I ain't never heard, I've never heard my dad sound like this. So I run in the room, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thinking something's wrong. And I look at him, he's watching the TV, he's screaming because the Cowboys had just scored a touchdown. I'm looking at the TV, and um, I remember like you know everybody was celebrating and running all over the field and stuff. And I was like, I want to make my dad scream like that. <laughs> I, I want to make my dad scream. I want him to scream Word. like that for me. I had to be like four or five years old, and that's when my love for football began. Have you ever scored a touchdown? I scored a couple touchdowns. A couple touchdowns. Yeah. So what was your what was your feeling? What was your feeling on scoring? <laughs> Your first touchdown, especially being a defensive guy, because it's hell, it's, it's hella hard scoring on defense. So when you got your first touchdown on defense, how'd you feel? Man, it's amazing, bro. <laughs> I, I'm like, bro, like I should be playing offense. <laughs> I, I'm about I'm to say that every I, person says that when they play defense, they always say, man, I should, I should be, be playing, playing offense. offense. I should yeah. be playing offense. I'm like, man, I see, I got. You see how easy I caught that ball, <laughs> man. It's easy. I should be playing offense, and then for the next two weeks, you lob me in for coach. Like, hey, man, put me on offense. It never works, but so. so so have you ever had an accident coach to put you like at full back one every time year. in a goal line? Every year. Every year they I'm won't going do in it. my ninth year and, and it never happens. Oh man. <laughs> hey coach, if you listen to me, can you give a one handoff? Can we get him one handoff so he can dance? We can see him dance in the end zone. I got it though. I mean, I get it. You say if Coach Fangio say, man, put one in the quarterback and let him sneak it. And I fumble the snap in the offense, the other team get the ball. So like, what? But look, then you back on defense. <laughs> <laughs> then you back on defense. Y'all get it back on defense, coach, you know? Somebody gonna lose their job right. after that. Nah, ain't nobody gonna lose their job after that. <laughs> well, listen, I got something for you, man. First of all, you can't come to somebody's crib and not bring them, you know, a I got housewarming you. gift. You yeah. know what I'm saying, for me. But, you know, when I played for the Denver Nuggets, you know, my guys, God. you know, I got my, my jersey signed it to the Hall of Famer, you know what I'm saying? Man, my, my God, guys. man. I so appreciate I that, man. Jersey, man. I don't know if you got, you know, you. you That's know, love, fam. Why not Denver? You know, you yep. play for Denver, so. This definitely going up yeah, in the base. facts, facts, man. Yes, so sir, I just want to give you that something you can have, you know what I'm saying? Today has been awesome. Pulled up in the tractor. I mean, guys, <laughs> come on, man. Like, you know how, not, like, you gotta, you gotta bring Von Miller Jersey. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. You let, just pay attention in class one time. One time. You know, I, I, I paid attention in class one, one time. time. And then look, I, I look, and look at it, you know what I'm saying? So, it's been cool, man. Thank you, Thank you, guys. Man, bro, appreciate you. Yep. Well, I'm gonna take my heart to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till you can't no more. I got the horses in the back. This is, hey, this is this is the perfect song for this.